Hi, I'm Kenny from PhysioK and in this video I'm going to show you a few exercises which are good for the thoracic mobility, which is the middle of your back here. Um, these are specifically good um, if you have a, a big um, kyphosis, which is a big curve in the middle of your back, and also if you just have some stiffness. So these will improve your mobility and will also be good for strengthening that area. The first one in this bracket will, uh, will be the cat-cow exercise. So you'll come on your um, all fours, that's it. So you'll make sure that your hips are above your knees like this, your hands are underneath your shoulders, which is good. And we're going to tilt our pelvis for this one. So your pelvis is here, that's located underneath your low back. You can tilt this one forwards, like this, and backwards, like this. Good. And now we're going to focus on the middle back. So we're going to incorporate the middle back in this exercise. So when you tilt your pelvis forwards, like this, you'll, yeah, you'll push this point down and you'll look up towards the ceiling, that's it. And then we'll change the direction, so you tilt your pelvis backwards, push this point up towards the ceiling and you'll look down, that's it. So one more time, we'll try and do everything together. Tilt your pelvis forwards, push down and look up, good. And now tilt backwards, push up and look down, that's it. Definitely, just one more, yeah, try and focus on going down and squeeze your shoulder blades together, that's it. So do this for about a minute, 20 to 30 times, and if possible, multiple times a day. The second exercise, um, focusing on your thoracic mobility, this one will be more for, the, for strengthening that, in that area, is called the lateral raise. So for this one, you'll lay on your uh, tummy. You, at home, you'll probably do it on a mat, but you can do it on a table as well. And we'll start with putting our arms sideways. So when you're at home, your arms will probably lay on the floor like this. And then from here, we'll start, we can lift up our arms, and you'll squeeze your shoulder blades together. Hold this there for about 10 seconds, and then you go down again. And you can rest your arms on the floor. And we'll do it one more time. You can lift up, squeeze your shoulder blades together. That's it. Hold for about 10 seconds, and then you go down again. That's it, and relax your arms on the floor. Try and do this for about 20 times, and if possible, three sets. If this is too easy, without any weight, you can use small weights in either hands. Um, you can go from one kilo. I wouldn't go too high, so we're focusing on endurance. So I would go up to a few kilos, two or three. Make sure you focus on the squeezing of the shoulder blades and then relax again. Yeah, that's it. The third exercise in this bracket will focus also on the strength for the thoracic spine, which is the middle of the, of the back there. Um, we'll lay on the floor on a mat. Um, you'll normally lean on your forehead, try not to smash your nose. And we'll start with your, your arms forward, so try and come up. That's it. Good. From this position, you'll make sure that your thumbs are up towards the air, and you'll lift up your arms. That's it. Try not to bend your elbows. Hold that for five seconds and then go down again. This is a very hard one. You can see he's struggling a bit. So we'll do that again. We'll lift up our arms as far as we can. That's better. Hold for five seconds. Three, four, five, and down again. Good. So try and do this one about 10 to 15 times, and if possible, three sets. If it would be too easy, which I don't think so, but you can use some weights as well, small weights, one to three kilograms in every hand. Um, and again, three sets of 10 to 15. The fourth and last exercise in this bracket is called scapular wall slides. This is by far the most challenging one if you have some stiffness in there, so we'll see. We'll start, um, you need a wall for this one, and we'll start a little bit away from the wall. So go a little bit further with your feet away from the wall. That's it. So bend your knees a little bit. Yeah, and now touch the wall with your pelvis and shoulders. That's it. Try and tilt your pelvis backwards a little bit. That's it. We'll start from there. Now put your arms up in the air. Yeah a little bit below shoulder height, okay. So make sure for this one that your elbows and your wrists are touching the wall. This is our starting position, so your head is touching the wall, your shoulders and your pelvis are touching the wall. You know, slightly bend your knees. From here, we'll try and go up and try and slide with your arms all the way up to in, in the air. Keep contact with your elbows and you'll see from here, it's coming off a little bit. Hold there, hold there, squeeze your shoulder blades together and then slowly come down again. That's it. Come down a little bit more until you're below. That's it, below the level of your shoulders. And do that again. Try and keep contact with your elbows and your wrists all the way up. Yeah, just for the video, we'll go a little bit higher. 
go a little bit higher, go a little bit higher until there, that's it. And now just go down again, that's it. Do this one 15 times, um, one or two sets will be enough, but try and do them a bit more regular during the day. If you can do that three, four times a day, that would be great. So these are the four exercises which are the best to improve your thoracic mobility, sort of mobility in, your, in the middle of your back and also to strengthen that area. They are, they are a bit tough. You could see Oscar was struggling a little bit, but that's exactly why you have to do them, all right? So please do them as much as you can. If there's anything, just give me a shout.